how probensid increases duration of action of penicillins penicillins are having the well known structure like this and one of the important point in the penicillins is that they are having a carboxylic acid group so this carboxylic acid group is an acidic group this acidic group makes the penicillins polar in nature now the drugs in this category include like penicillin g penicillin v amoxicillin ampicillin and so many drugs are there which are classified as the penicillins now let us see the probensid probensid is having a structure like this and we can observe that again it is having the carboxylic acid group just like the penicillins and apart from this carboxylic acid group it is also having a sulfonamide moiety which is attached to the benzene ring so probensid is a benzene sulfonamide derivative now because the penicillin as well as probensid both are having a carboxylic acid moiety they may interact at one point of uh, pharmacokinetics where they show some drug interaction let us see the fate of penicillins so penicillins when they are going to be administered into the body they can be converted into its metabolite penicillinic acid which is the major metabolite of the penicillins on the other hand penicillins may not be metabolized and they are going to be excreted unchanged in the urine now the metabolite of the penicillin that is the penicillinic acid can be conjugated and then excreted in the urine whereas penicillin which is unchanged is going to be secreted into the renal tubules by the renal tubular secretion and 75% of the penicillin is going to be excreted unchanged in the urine so renal tubular secretion is the one of the important process in the excretion of the penicillins now probensid is one of the drug which is going to inhibit this renal tubular secretion thereby it inhibits the excretion of the penicillins how probensid acts probensid is one of the drug which is called as uricose uric acid that means it is going to increase the uric acid excretion so probensid is going to inhibit one of the transporter urat1 transporter that is a urate transporter which is responsible for the absorption of the uric acid within the renal tubules this urat1 pump is generally responsible for the uric acid reabsorption so as the urat1 pump is going to be inhibited the uric acid reabsorption is going to be inhibited by probensid at the same time probensid can also inhibit the other pump oat1 pump organic anion transporter 1 pump this oat1 pump is responsible for the organic acid secretion so that organic acids can be secreted into the renal tubules now the probensid can inhibit both urat1 pump as well as the oat1 pump thereby it inhibits the both uric acid reabsorption as well as the organic acid secretion so suppose this is the proximal tubular cell and this is the urinary filtrate that is inside of the lumen of the renal tubules and this is the serum the inner membrane of this renal tubule is called as apical membrane and the outer membrane is called as basolateral membrane and on the apical membrane one of the pump present is the urt1 pump which is responsible for the reabsorption of the uric acid from the urinary filtrate into the serum and another pump that is present on the basolateral membrane is the oat1 pump that is a organic anion transporter 1 pump which is responsible for secretion of the organic anions now the organic anions can be secreted into the renal tubules through this pump where they are going to be exchanged with dicarboxylate anions so that they are going into the serum in this way oat1 pump acts as an anion exchange pump so that organic anions are going to be secreted into the renal tubules now probensid is one of the drug which is going to inhibit this oat1 pump thereby it inhibits the organic anion secretion into the renal tubules now let us see how probensid affects the penicillins so penicillins up to 75% they are going to be excreted unchanged in the urine now penicillins can be secreted into the renal tubules by the same pump oat1 pump and again they are going to be exchanged for the dicarboxylate anion now probensid is going to inhibit this oat1 pump thereby it inhibits the renal tubular secretion of the penicillins what happens then now penicillins are going to be undergoing the renal tubular secretion through the oat1 pump and after this renal tubular secretion they are going to be excreted into the urine as we have seen earlier probensid is going to inhibit this oat1 pump 
it results in the decreased excretion of the penicillins. As penicillins are not excreted, penicillin levels in the plasma are going to increase and few of the amount of the penicillin can be then converted into its metabolite penicilloic acid. So in this way, by increasing the penicillin levels, it may not lead to the toxicity, but the penicillins can reside for a longer period within the plasma. So this results in the increased duration of action of penicillins. Is this combination beneficial? Of course, penicillins can show time-dependent kinetics. That means they can show the better therapeutic activity based on the time they reside above the minimum effective concentration. So the action of the penicillins depends on the total duration of action. Now, propensity is one of the drug which is going to increase the duration of action of penicillins. Thereby, it increases the therapeutic action of penicillins. Since penicillins show the time-dependent kinetics, by use of the probenzid, we can maintain the penicillin levels above the minimum effective concentration for longer periods so that the penicillin action is going to increase. In this way, probenzid can be combined with the penicillins to increase their therapeutic action.